Hello, congratulations. This is the last chapter. So you made it through this book, Good Strategy, Bad Strategy, and I hope it's uh, been beneficial. I think it's, he's, um, it, it's an excellent book. I think you can, you can really grasp the, like so many books, the, a lot of it is in the beginning when he's really describing what is good strategy, bad strategy. However, his examples and, and his thinking and experience over time really do add a lot of value. And I think that if you're going to, it's one of those things, if you're gonna read only a few books on strategy, this is certainly one of them because it keeps it very clear and positive. And, it, and I think it, what he's trying to do with you is build up your confidence. You're able to say, that is not good. I don't have to uh, agree with that kind of fluff or that kind of a crazy business speak. I'm, I, I need to know what's really happening that can work for us, not just a bunch of consultant speak or, or, or ways people talk in the vernacular these days. He wants you to be independent and a real uh, and, and have confidence in yourself. And I, and I think and that's what um, I want for you as well. From my experience, it's, it's really difficult to, to, to do. There's a herd mentality in business, there's a herd mentality in the company amongst ourselves, and, and it's part of human nature. In human nature, uh, we like to do what other uh, people do. You've all seen that experiment of the, how long the lines are and they, they put people in a, in, a, in a room and one, three of or five of them know uh, what they're all been told to say that one line is longer or shorter than the others, even though it's the same. And the other person who's the, the subject of the experiment, you see whether he'll agree with what he sees clearly with his eyes that is not the case or whether to be uh, conform, he or she will, will uh, agree with the, the group. Almost every time people agree with the group, it's easier. And you see uh, that all the time in our society these days. People uh, do things, they, they think of, I'm gonna be an individual, uh, but actually they're doing the same thing everyone else is doing. So to be, it's not easy. And I think in strategy, especially a strategic thinker, it becomes very uh, difficult sometimes because basically you're gonna be one of the person who questions, who sees things a little bit differently, who tests things, who doesn't just buy off on the status quo, who won't go along with, uh, with, with, with the flow, wants to fight against inertia, wants to get the company moving. And that isn't always easy. Sometimes you come across a, a bit of a pain and, and that can happen. You have, to, you have to be careful with that. You can't always be disrupting everything, but you wanna be think, use your head to do the right thing. Uh, they're paying you to give your opinion and to do the best you can for the company. Sometimes that means going against the status quo. Be perceptive. Like I said, don't always be just, a, you know, no one likes people just for no reason or contrary. But when you see things that are not working, that are really different, um, especially when you're in the strategy area, you, 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 you can go after those. And you now you have a mechanism for testing them. The logical proof can always test. You, you use the business assessment, the fundamental business assessment, viability assessment uh, tool and the logical proofs tool. You can get a long ways toward proving whether something makes sense or doesn't. Remember, um, as he points out in the book, everybody knew the stock market was going to continue to go up and then it crashed in 1929. Everybody knew real estate values were going to continue up uh, forever until the crisis in 2008. Uh, and, and there are any number of things like that that are all through history where everybody was doing one thing and a few people, always, there's always a few people, they see things differently, but it, but it is a workout. So, there's a pro that that's just the way it is. You want to be careful not to just to be jumping on the bandwagon with everybody else. Usually, when you do that, you're at the tail end of it. It's already over. You just don't know yet, and 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 it's starting to and it's already on its decline that you can't perceive. So um, the encouragement here is to is to is to when you're in an organization and when you're in a company to to be your own person, to use your own brain, to think as best you can on on what on what's really right not to go along with the group, especially when you're in a business environment where you're getting paid to do the right thing with the company. You're not getting paid to conform, you're getting paid to do the right thing. And they can be often very different things. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this book and, uh, and then you apply it to your business lives going forward. All right, thanks.